ancestors and greetings to the viewers at home. Uh, let us also appreciate the opportunity again uh, and uh, send our condolences to the families that uh, lost their loved ones and wish the speed recovery to those who are injured. Uh, safe to say that we, we are going to uh, visit uh, the hospitals uh, tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Today we have given an opportunity and a space to the, uh, to the families and, the, and, and doctors who were busy with the, 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 the workers at hospital. But tomorrow we'll have an opportunity to go to, to the three hospitals and visit those workers. So we'll be able then mm. to update on the conditions of how they are, the 70 of them. And we'll also take an opportunity to visit families uh, which are around yeah. the Rustenburg uh, and, and also uh, uh, send our uh, condolences to them. Do you have any a picture at this stage of how many people in hospital are in a critical condition? Not yet, not yet, but knowing them, the, 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 the seriousness of the incident itself, one who is a minor himself may have such a picture of uh, the seriousness of the injuries was a, 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 an, an injury that is coming through in such kind of an incident, which is a, a catch incident, which is not often happening in the mm -hmm. mining industry. You, you may recall that the last time we have such an injury, it was in Varif's number two shaft in 1995. Wow. So when you have a certain incident, so so where we lost 104 workers on the 10th of and the 10th of May 1995, 